Jailer Rock here, Percent Off Collector, and we are back with another awesome toy haul for our Call to Action Figure Toy Donation Drive. Now, if you're new to the channel or haven't seen these videos before, we have partnered up with the wonderful organization called birthdaydreams.org. And what they do is they provide birthdays, presents, the whole shebang for homeless children in the Puget Sound area, which for those who don't know, it's in, it's like around Seattle, Washington. So this organization really caught my eye and I just thought it was awesome because I totally remember what it was like growing up poor, even though I was never homeless, you know, I was blessed enough not to be. Um, but people had donated and given things to my mom and, and I always had a really good birthday. One of my best birthdays was at Showbiz Pizza when I was 12 years old. So, you know, I can understand how when you're just trying to survive, you're trying to get food, you're trying to have a roof over your head, that being able to celebrate something like a birthday might seem trivial, but to a kid, it's a super big thing. So this organization collects uh, donations um, and then they will help you know tailor a birthday for a child. So if a child likes Marvel, you know they'll try and get toys that are you know that the kid will like for Marvel. I mean, what kid doesn't have like something on their wish list? And that's why we created the Amazon wish list where I've selected a bunch of action figures across the spectrum of action figures and you can follow the link in the description. Uh, you click on it and you can select whatever you want. You can even go outside the list, list if you want and send us the items. And what will happen is when it comes here, I'll do a video just like this where I showcase what we got. Thank you. I can even plug whatever you guys are doing, within reason, of course. And then usually once I have, you know, maybe 10, 15 items or so, then I take it over to Birthday Dreams offices. And you can also check out that video where I was honored to go see the wonderful people that work at those offices. And we did a little video and we showed off their toy room and it was awesome. So you should go check that out. But I want to thank all the people so far that have donated. And as I said, if you want to donate, there's items on there under 20, under 10, there's even some under five, and all of them are prime, so if you have prime, you'll get free shipping. So if you can and if you wish, please check out that link and you know donate a toy that will go to a, a child that really could use a great birthday and will get some awesome toys. Because as toy collectors, especially those of us that are older, we know how awesome it is to open up a toy at any age. But imagine being a kid and not really having an opportunity. So I wanted to be a small part of that and helping people do that. And as I said, we've had so many awesome people come and, and donate things. And everything you see here came from one person. It came from Steven and his family. And I just want to say thank you. This is just awesome. Uh, I love all the things that, that you selected. So let's go over them quickly. Now, just you know, in case anyone don't understand, so since these are don't going to be donated, I can't open them. So I mean, those of you collectors who like to keep things in card and box, then you're going to love this. You know, for those who rather see things get open, I guess it might be a little bit of disappointment, but you understand why we can't open these. But um, one little other thing. So whenever you do go and donate, there's a little section where, oops, let me put that right. There's a little section where you can actually put, like for a gift, you can put your name and things like that. So this is where if you want to put a message, your Instagram, your YouTube, whatever that you, you'd like me to, to read, you can put that here. If you just want to put your name, if you want to put anonymous, that's fine as well. But this is what comes with each item so that we can know who it comes from. Because when you select it in shipping, you're going to see it's going to say JLR Rock percent off collector. So this is how I know it's it's coming from the donation drive and then I can see it. So let's see. We're going to put this one in the profile right here. Okay. So and this one is DC Comics Shazam Darla action figure. Um so that TV show. I mean TV show. That movie, I liked the first one. I thought it was cool. Second one, eh. Um, <laughs> but you know, the figure is cool. Let's put a little a little bit closer. That you can see, um, you know, it looks like it has kind of like that standard, uh, standard articulation to it. You know, it's cool, nice colors. I do like the way that it looks as far as the sculpture of the face. Um, let's see, what else is? 
I was trying to see like, oh wow, this is not in English on the on the back. Oh, Power Slingers. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know about this line. Like usually, what I do is I look at different toys so I can just get an idea of like, oh, okay, like this looks like it could be a, a cool toy that a child may like. But a lot of these toys, I don't know the line. Like I, I never collected this, and I mean, obviously the movie is pretty new. Um, but on the, it's funny on the back. It shows like you like sling it, you like pull it back. Um, I remember those toys that used to you could stick it to the wall and they would fall down like that. This kind of makes me think think about that. Um, oh okay. Oh so oh I get it. So it's, I think each one that comes with is like um, this one is greed. So when you you know with Shazam how they have the different powers of of like uh, the gods and stuff like that. I, there was one where it shows like different types of, I guess, um, sins, <laughs> like the seven deadly sins. So I guess greed is one of them. But no, this this is a very cool toy, and I think that any child will love that. So again, thank you so much. Here, let me put that like over here for now. Um, let's see. Let's go to this one. All right. So this next item is the League of Legends from Riot Games Darius and this is really cool because I used to play a lot of League of Le Legends back in the day uh, I don't really play it anymore because it, I just kind of burned out I liked Aram for those of you who know that game that's where it's just one line and then the two enemies kind of meet and they're trying to battle back and forth to get to the end instead of like three or four lanes in the regular game Darius was usually like a tank uh, he would like charge in and he had righteous fury and would slam things down So I really think that's cool because just as a line in itself It kind of makes sense because League of Legends was mainly about getting You know the the characters like it was mainly about playing with each character and getting to like a character and knowing how to play that character in whatever lane you were playing. So I think that actually lends well to an action figure because you're like, okay, I play this one, I play that one, and now I can collect it and have it, you know, as part of my collection. And I mean, just, just looking at this, it looks cool. Um, it looks like it comes with a base, like down here, it looks like it comes with a base. It comes with his ax weapon that he's known for. Um, articulation looks pretty cool like you see here in the back you can do little poses um, obviously I don't know exactly how much articulation that it has does it say on the back no not that I see now this one also came out in 2021 um, and yeah I mean it, it just looks really cool they see that's that's not that's not cloth no that's plastic but it still looks cool I really I really dig the design I think that 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 looks sweet that's that's a cool design of that figure so again, thank you for that. Um, now this is a line that like I just recently like really started to like look at, and I just thought it was interesting. Uh, it's the Golds line uh, from a Funko Pop, and this is the Vinyl Gold Tupac five-inch toy. And yeah, I mean I liked listening to Tupac back in the day. It was sad hearing about like the beef with him and Biggie Smalls, and then. The, the killings and all that and the misunderstandings it was just a time where it's just like man why are people beefing over things like that Oof, my apologies I'm gonna get that glare out of there but I don't know I, I just like <laughs> I just think it's kind of interesting you know it's like you know the figure kind of looks like him but you know I know that the Funko Pop is supposed to kind of be like more of a cartoon caricature um, but I still think it's cool I, I do like the gold um, I, I just like the, the the chain, the how he looks. Like I mean, the the style of it does scream Tupac. Like if you've seen his videos or him on stage, like it, it does fit uh, that that action. And I do like how on the side here you got the pictures. You have like the gold records and things like that. Obviously, gold line, you know, vinyl line that has to do with like gold records. I mean, he's gone platinum, um, but you know they they definitely have that. And in the back, I do like that little part here where it's like you know series one Tupac Shakur has like the little signature thing I mean it fits for something where you can either display it 
or you can you know leave it in the box and display it like that either way it's cool I just like the design and everything I think that if I was into collecting Funko that this would probably be like the type of line and they have like sports figures and stuff like that too um, so I just think it's really cool I mean articulation wise it doesn't look like it's that much I mean the Funko these type of pops usually don't have a lot it's more like you know you just place it there and you you look at it it's pretty cool so I think that's really sweet again thank you Steven for that and last uh, well actually there's one more after this but so this is the Marvel Legends series Lady Deadpool and let me see is there anything else here no just a six inch Lady Deadpool and I, I just thought this is cool like I remember when I first um, when I first saw this I was like okay that's that just looks like a cool figure to to showcase <laughs> because Deadpool is just cool and I just like the lady version I just thought it was sweet um, this also comes with the build a figure piece Marvel Sharon you know is is interesting about that um, I actually that's one thing that I did forget to ask when I went to the birthday dreams uh, offices is that would that would that be something that could disappoint a child you know because for an adult or even a teenager like you can definitely look forward to building the pieces but you see there what it's six pieces to build him um, and you know obviously in especially in this case with donation it's not likely that they'll be able to build him they'll not get the rest of these so I mean I don't know if that's something where it would be like you know a disappointment to have like a piece of something or not I mean I assume with all the toys that I'd be giving out it wouldn't be but it is still something that you know kind of made me think about that specific specifically in this case um, but yeah the figure itself looks cool it looks like it has a lot of that standard articulation as far as like the the chest crunch the elbows the shoulders the head the knees uh, I can't tell with the feet uh, the katanas I like I like the head there but it's a cool looking figure and I think that basically um, any kid is going to at least, you know at least hear about Deadpool and things like that so I just think it's 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 a cool item overall and let's see the last one I thought this was interesting especially because of the the you know the donation type which it has to do with birthdays and so these are gonna be harder to see unfortunately maybe I could put a picture up that you can see it but these is like the Power Rangers but these are like birthday party favorites so yes they're figures and you can move them around they do have some articulation here Let's see if I can at least get one or so but you see like the Pink Ranger there but these here they come with like accessories here and you play around with them and they're kind of meant to like give out like when you're having a birthday party and like you can play around with it so when I saw these I just thought that was cool I mean I think that uh, they, they, it still looks cool like you know to have and to play around with it and the fact that you get all, all of them you know it's not one figure it's like you know you have blue black pink red yellow so I just thought that that was sweet that you're able to you know have that you know that whole line there to to check out um, so yeah, so now this is the first set for the second uh, grouping that we'll be taking over there. Um, so that we already, as you'll see in, if you check out the video where we went to the birthday, uh, uh, birthdaydreams.org offices, you'll see that, you know, we took over that first grouping. So this is the first of the second grouping. So I'm going to, oh yeah, I can see it over here because it's everything being, being blocked. But basically, we're going to add it back here. And as we do more videos, we'll continue to add to it. So as you can see, yep. So it's going to be back here on our shelves. And as we get more items, we're going to do more videos. And we're going to add to this. And as I said, once we get over 10 or so, then we're going to, you know, take it and donate it at the offices. And just to let you know, 
We still got things here. Look at that. Look at that. We still we still have things to go through. I still have a nice backlog of videos to do. And you know, seriously, like thank you to everyone who's donated because uh, especially since we're a new small channel, I wasn't sure exactly how this was gonna work. My thought was maybe, you know, I buy a few things, some people might donate a few things, and I can drop off a few things maybe once a month. And the fact that so many people has contributed, we've even had uh, some action figure companies reach out and contribute as well. So we're going to have videos showcasing that as well. So I'm really, really grateful and thankful to Steven, his family, and everyone who has donated to our toy drive. And as I, as I said, toy drive is ongoing. We're just going to keep going forever as long as the channel is here. So. If you want to check out that list, the link is in our description. You can click on it and pick whatever you want. But until next time, thank you so much. And remember our motto, no discount, no deal. And remember to give us a sub if you like us, all right? Catch you later.